What is up guys, Jarv here, back today, jumping into Destiny 2. Today's Friday, which means our friendly neighbourhood trash collector Zer is back. As always, he's on the Widen Cove this week. You'll find him over in the European Dead Zone, over up by his little cave on this little cliff here. So let's have a little good look and see what goodies he's got for us this week. Okay, nice. Cool, so we'll start off with the exotic engram, so we know how this works, guys. So if you're filling out your collections... In regards to exotics and have any missing, then be sure to come pick this one up. This will help fill out your collection for you and complete that where you need to. If you have a full collection already though, then be sure to come pick it up anyway. Hopefully for some higher stat rolls on any armor pieces you may be seeking out. Um, so yeah, well worth the 97 shards. We'll grab that towards the end of the video to see what goodies I can get this week. Also, if you have the exotic cipher, you can actually grab two of these. So if you have all the exotics that Master Rao Hall has over in the tower then be sure to use that still this season to get an extra exotic from Zer. Cool, right, exotic gear then. So we've got the Colony as the exotic weapon of the week. We've got Young Amankara's Spine for the Hunter, Symphoseps for the Titan, and Phoenix Protocol for the Warlock. Any consumables can be found here if you're still working on those and are new to Destiny, and Invitations of the Nine can be found at the bottom if you haven't finished those. Cool, right, so the Colony... Intrinsic trait is insectoid robot grenades. So this weapon's grenades are insectoid robots that chase targets and explode close to them. This is a pretty fun exotic, I guess, inside Crucible, uh, especially when Mayhem is in rotation. Um, but it doesn't get a lot of love in PvE. I don't see it a great deal. There are obviously a greater grenade launchers that can do more damage than the colony can, but it's still fun nevertheless to use and it's different to any other grenade launcher in the game. It has some pretty cool... That's a really cool one, uh, ornaments as well. So if you want to have a bit of fun in Crucible and if Mayhem is in rotation, then be sure to grab your colony and have a bit of fun. Young Amankara Spine for the Hunter then. So we've got the Solar Affinity here. 63 stats, so reasonably high. So Wish Dragon Teeth is the armor's perk. So this increases trip mine grenade duration and blast radius. Ability damage grants trip mine grenade energy. Um, Tripmine's got a buff a little while back. I think they actually stick again now. So this one might be worth another try. Obviously, when it comes to PvP, hunters probably have other exotics that they may turn to. But it might be worth a shout with the little buff to Tripmine's there. But be sure to let me know in the comment section below if you have any particular builds that you like to use, especially in regards to this exotic. But if you don't have it, it's definitely a collection piece, so be sure to come grab it if you need it. Symphoseps. For the Titan then, so we have the Solar Affinity, 62 stats, so slightly lower than the previous set. Bionic Enhancements is the armor's perk, so this has increased melee lunge range and improved melee and super damage when you're surrounded. A very powerful one, especially inside Crucible, if you're surrounded by multiple targets, you can pretty much one-hit melee most of them and deal incredible amounts of damage. Um, it works really well with things like uh, one-two punch shotguns as well inside PvE, so a very versatile exotic indeed in all different game types so if you don't have it there are ornaments but i just don't have them most definitely come grab it if you like to uh, punch things in the face and phoenix protocol for the warlock so solar affinity again so solar across the board this week guys 61 stats are the lowest of the week battle hearth is the armor's perk so kills and assists will make you sorry kills and assists will make while standing in oh my days Kills and assists you make while standing in your Well of Radiance return super energy. Third time lucky there. So this is a good exotic for getting your super back and good for game modes, especially things like Reckoning and any horde mode, things like that. This is very powerful for your Well of Radiance and getting those super back, which is a very good support function to have for you and your fire team. So it doesn't get the use that it probably should. It's very situational. I get that, but well worth grabbing. Nevertheless, if you don't have it, so there we are. That is going to wrap up Zert for this week. We're going to grab that engram just now. If you're jumping into Trials this weekend, it's the Altar of Flame is the map of the week. So good luck if you're going to be running any Trials cards. We've got the Crest of Alpha Lupi. 62 stat. Look at that resilience and intellect. What a shame. Oh well. Nevertheless though, good luck if you are going to be running Trials this weekend, as I said. If you have enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a rating down below. That super helps me out here on the channel. And if you are new around here and want to keep up to date with all the latest Destiny 2 content, be sure to hit subscribe as well. I'm going to jump back into the game as always, guys. But I will catch you all again very soon.